Is hesitation a problem for you in Rocket League? Whether it's from a lack of confidence or thinking too much in game, hesitation holds a lot of players back and it can be a real struggle to break out of it. In this video, you'll get to see a replay review of me on stream where I'm helping a player out with his hesitation problems. You'll get to see tips and tricks along the way. And at the end, I'll summarize a few key points that you can do to help hesitation in your own game. So already matters, yeah, it's like, it's tough. Just like big indecision here, right? Like, it's, it's normally better just like, this is what homie's talking about, like, just don't think, just zoom. It's like, you, you obviously want to go for it, just zoom, who cares? Rubot's not going to get anything particularly useful there anyway, right? Just zoom, zoom. Wait, I was, I was trying to read the Japanese, not that I can. Yeah, nice goal, Metis. Too easy. This is a similar thing, actually, where it's like, yeah, if you want to score these more, you've just got to kind of go here. Like, if you're in a faster lobby, this wouldn't have worked. You've got to, like, already be jumping. Just kind of, like, have a feeling that Kabilio is going to miss here and just be okay with the challenge missing. But you still, it was still quick. You set yourself up real nice. That was the goal to get you to Elite. Carry. Good job. Yeah, Metis, just looks like you're a big hesitator. Um, yeah, you, at least definitely in this game. But you can see you're just... Like, you're like constantly pointing at the ball and then second-guessing your decisions all the time. So, for one, you got to be careful about just like idly pointing your car at the ball because it's never particularly good especially if you're not going to go you should always be like predicting where the ball is going to go because yeah you just it kind of looks like you just got your brain like switched off and you're just waiting for like the perfect opportunity to present itself and then stuff like that will happen you'll just get beat all the time wasting boost on hesitating yeah yeah see even here it's like Everything is like hesitating, like kind of going, not going. Then once you go, see that th that's like the tragedy of like the half committer as well, where it's like you spend so much time like second guessing yourself and deciding whether you should go, shouldn't you go, that when you actually do decide to go, it normally doesn't work anyway because you're too slow. No hesitation time. Yeah, no hesitation time. It's like, a as soon as you commit to a, s a decision, just, just zoom. And it's like, part of it is just being okay with making the wrong decision. Because like, when you are not hesitating, you are gonna get beat to the ball. What feels like a lot. But it's so much better, especially in like high level threes, to just be quick than it is to be like, always slow. Even if you think it's the right decision. That was speedy. Look, you got it in ya. But see here, like, same deal, right? See how you're just, like, you're just, like, pointing your car at the ball. You're not really, like, thinking where that's going to go. Because, realistically, if that does 50 out, you're not even winning the race to the ball. It's, like, you're only winning the race if that kind of hit happens. So you may as well be ready for that hit, right? Yeah, like, it's, like, no hesitating and... Trying to like read the play with a lot more clarity, because this, this is really common from like, like third men type players, is you'll just be like roughly ready for everything, but then when the pace of the play speeds up, it just turns out you're ready for nothing. Yeah. Yeah, homie brings up a good point. It's hard to realize, but it, it does make it awkward for your teammates. Yeah, see, like, even that, right? Like, you went, but it's fine. Look, your teammates have it. Like, w once you get to this level, you kind of have to be okay just zooming past, making the wrong decision. But if that's, like, 2v2 in champ, maybe not. But, yeah, when you're, when you're playing this quick, you just gotta, just gotta go. Same thing here. Even just, like, this is then, like mechanically doubting yourself on the challenge right you should be like boost down the whole way 
Be like, boost on off. Oh no, you were boosting. Why did this look slow to me? I don't know. I guess it's like, to get this challenge off, you just had to like hard predict higher, like jump earlier and stuff. They had bad chem and their position was off all series. Yeah. Yeah, your play, your play style won't get punished if the other team isn't on point. Yeah, I agree with Homie. Oh, <laughs> tough read. Oh, tough. De definitely, there's some kind of air roll you could have done here to get that on target while also staying fast. And then I guess here, just like slowing yourself down enough to like make sure you are scoring it. Because again, like, it's like same thing where it's like in your head you're just kind of like thinking about it and you're like I gotta rush I gotta rush but if you think through exactly what you need to do you'd know you needed to slow down a bit even if even if like because you slowed down you would have got 50 just fine uh, you're speedy sometimes panic is my biggest enemy yeah uh, I can see your, your brain is quite switched on which is a lot of the time, not great. Uh, we can have a quick look at the six man's game meta. So I really got to go soon, but we can see if it is similar stuff. Cause yeah, right, right now it's just the hesitating that's your big weakness. And there's like a few mechanical things here and there that we're talking about. Like even here, right? Just, just take the ball off your teammates. What are they doing? They're all backwards. They're struggling. They need you to save the day. Just zoom. Yeah, it's def it's definitely tough being a sub. It's hard to have confidence being a sub. But you're obviously doing a great job. Qualifying, let's go. Would have been sick. You've had heaps of close chances this game, Metis. Playing well. <laughs> Just braying this ball hit the ground, aren't you? Oh, there we go. So that's the end of the replay review. I've got two general tips for you that should help out a lot for fixing hesitation in your own playstyle. The first one is to get over your fear of messing up. A lot of the time with hesitation, players are scared of double committing or they're scared of going for the ball and missing. These things are totally normal, but if you want to improve, you really have to get over these fears. And the best way to do it is just be conscious of it and just throw yourself into the deep end. Go for those balls you normally wouldn't. Don't fear those double commits. It's okay to sometimes double commit as long as you are developing as a player, getting faster and getting more goals to cover up for those occasional mistakes. The second tip is to either be very close to the play or very far away from the play. A lot of hesitation happens because players are in this awkward middle zone where they could go for the ball or they could back out. The fact that you are in that position leads to a lot of indecision and it's where a lot of hesitating happens. So if you're very close, you're generally committed and it's a lot easier just to snap your fingers and go or if you're far away, you know that you should be patient anyway. So if you position yourself so that the decision is easy, you won't be hesitating as much and it'll be a lot clearer for you on what you need to do. Thanks for watching till the end of the video. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if you like this style of video and if you have trouble with hesitation, you're probably generally a rotational player and the video on the screen here will help you out a ton as well.